This is a model of the neuron. First, I wanna show it to you three-dimensionally. And I need to tell you, okay, and look down on the end here. I need to tell you that this part of the neuron actually belongs up here. It's been cut. So this, I'll go over this in a minute, but this is the axon, and then this is the axon continuing up here. So this is connected to this. It's just that they didn't want the plaque to be super long and narrow and difficult to store. So they cut it, okay? So this is all, this is more than one cell, but most of this model here is uh, only one neuron. So this enlarged part of the neuron here is called the cell body. In the cell body is the nucleus of the neuron, and when you identify this, you need to say nucleus of the neuron because we have other cells on this plaque in this model. And then you, there are a bunch of organelles around the outside as well. So this is almost like the main part of the neuron that takes care of all the um, work that the neuron needs to do. And coming off of the neuron are these branches here, and you can see a lot of them if you look at the model this way. These are all dendrites, not the brown ones, not the tan rubbery ones, but these white or gray stiff ones are dendrites. Each axon has, um, it might have only, well, I don't want to go into too much detail. Let me just say that on this model, there are multiple dendrites, and there's always only one axon. Neurons only have one axon, never more than one axon. So this is where the axon is attached to the cell body, and this is the beginning of the axon. And then when you look over here, you could see this axon has been cut open. So there's pink inside, and when it's not cut open, it's light gray, the same as the cell body, and the dendrites are light gray. Inside the axon, are a bunch of mitochondria and it's been cut down here because the axon is super long so um, they just cut it because you know space reasons and then wrapped around well let me go back to this so what these rubbery brown things are are axon terminals of other neurons axon terminal means axon ending terminal means ending so these are the axon terminals of other neurons, and they are coming in <clears throat> and forming synapses with, remember a synapse is where two neurons come together or two, a neuron and another cell come together. So here's one synapse, here's another synapse, here's another synapse, here's another synapse, okay? So these are axon terminals, and this one axon terminal has been cut open and you can see a red mitochondrion in there and a bunch of yellow dots. The yellow dots are synaptic vesicles and they contain neurotransmitter. You learned about the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the previous chapter. It might be acetylcholine, but it might be a different neurotransmitter because we have over 50 neurotransmitters. Over here, we see once again the axon in the middle, but wrapped around the axon are these white cells these are Schwann cells forming myelin sheaths. So this is one Schwann cell that's been cut open. This one has been partially cut open. And then down here, not gray, but this white part, you can see has not been cut open until you get down to the end. So one Schwann cell forms one myelin sheath. So there are one, two, and part of a third Schwann cell on this model. So this is the nucleus of the Schwann cell. And again, you have to say nucleus of the Schwann cell because we have a nucleus of the neuron up here, and I need to know that you know the difference. So this is a myelin sheath. This is a myelin sheath. In between the myelin sheaths, there's a little number nine there, if you see, if you've got really good eyes. And uh, these, and they're not obvious, but, but they're there, um, nodes of Ranvier. So the node of Ranvier here, and then again down here, is the space on the axon between the myelin sheaths. And I'm just checking my list to make sure I, 
I went over everything. One more thing is that these axon terminals of the other neurons, these are presynaptic neurons. So remember, presynaptic neurons come before the synapse. So this big neuron is a postsynaptic neuron. And then all these axon terminals belong to presynaptic neurons.